Bonk. Hey guys, so if this is your first time watching me, hi, I'm Julia. Thank you for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of different TikTok food hacks. We've secured the goods. Okay, let's do this thing. So first up, you're going to need a mug. I have this cute little bird mug. My mom, she is obsessed with birds, so yeah. We're gonna need some Oreos and some milk. So pretty much what you do is you throw a couple Oreos into the mug and then you take a fork and your milk. I say like cover the Oreos. I don't know, they don't really give measurements. Now I'm going to take my fork and start mashing them up. You pretty much want to create this like batter almost. Stupid. Okay, can we talk about how like unpredictable New England's weather is? Like literally a day ago, it was over 90 degrees. It was like 95 degrees out with like 90% humidity. And today it is like 65 and I'm wearing a sweatshirt, slippers and leggings. Okay, I think I added too much milk. So I guess we're gonna have to add in another Oreo. Aw, too bad. Can you even see that? Ugh. Okay, never mind. So pretty much when you get this like kind of like chunky batter consistency, you're going to throw it in the microwave for one minute. Ah! Hello, this is my dog, Percy, but everyone calls him Bean. He's very moody, but sometimes he gives good cuddles and he can talk too. Ah! So I just washed my hands because I just had my hands all over my dog. It kind of looks like that. It looks really gross to be honest, but it smells delicious. I guess let's just try this. I remember doing this like a couple years ago. Ooh, it like really thickened into this like, like cake type texture. Not bad. I think my cookie to milk ratio was a little bit off. I think you want it to be more of like a cake batter texture, but this isn't bad. This is actually pretty good. It tastes like an Oreo cake. I'm annoyed that I don't hate this because that means I'm going to be making it a lot more frequently. I forgot this existed until I found the life hack. I'm gonna give this a solid eight out of 10. I honestly don't remember it being this good, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. I mean, I've definitely had better desserts, but if you're looking for something sweet, a little bit chocolatey, creamy in a pinch, this is where it's at. I'm really excited to try this one out because it's pretty much turning a box cake mix into cookies. So I mean, kind of excited about that. So we have the cake mix. They say you need vegetable oil and two eggs. So I have the cake mix right here. I chose a Funfetti. I was gonna get red velvet because that's the one they used in the video and it actually looked really, really good, but um, they didn't have it at my grocery store. So we had to settle for Funfetti. That's fine. Funfetti is still good. That smells so good. It honestly smells like Easy Bake Oven stuff, but like it smells good. I mean, honestly, I would choose cookies over cake every day. So if this works, y'all better watch out. Finally, just a half a cup of vegetable oil. Whoa, that like bunched together really quickly. That's my AP lab teacher. <laughs> All right, so I just have a tray right here. 350. Okay, she said 350, let's preheat the oven. She didn't say how long to leave the cookies in, so I'm just gonna have to guesstimate and hope the best here. Oh, these are really easy to scoop, actually. Like, bro, it should not be that easy. All right, beautiful. Here's an up close angle of the batter. Okay, so the cookies are all in the tray, but in the meantime, I have a lot of dishes to clean. Few inches later. All right, so I finished cleaning most of the dishes and I just took the trash out because that is my chore that I do to keep my phone. The oven is currently at 254 degrees. I cleaned most of the dishes, but the dishwasher's full and emptying the dishwasher is my sister's job to keep her phone. But I'm going to be doing it for today because I'm feeling like a nice sibling, you know? And also I need somewhere to put the rest of the dirty dishes, so. Uh. All right, oven is preheated. Cookies are going in the oven. Uh. Oh my god, you guys, I wasn't paying attention to the cookies and I think I burnt them. Ah! Wow! 
Why are they so fluffy? Okay, wait. Ah, no, no. Ah, how burnt are they? <gasps> wait, they're not that bad. Wow. So good. Look how like easy it was to like clean out the bowl. I'm gonna throw the next pan in. Okay, hey, going in. Ow, I just hit my funny bone on the, the, the railing. All right, hi. So I have all the cookies right here. They're still kind of warm. They've been like cooling on the granite for a little bit. So I'm gonna try one while it's still warm. Here we have the cookie. As you can see, they're kind of fluffy. <laughs> kind of looks like a cake in the middle, to be honest. It smells good. Mm, no, I don't hate it, but you can just tell it was supposed to be a cake mix. They're too fluffy. It, it's got like almost a little bit of a grainy texture to it. Maybe I should have mixed it more. I mean, they're okay. They're not blowing my mind by any means. These cookies, for example, would not be worth the tummy troubles that I would get from them. So like, if you're trying to like weigh out your options here, ugh, they're pretty mediocre. I'm gonna rate the cake cookies a solid four out of 10. I feel like kids would love them because kids love anything that's sweet and like cakey and fun and pretty. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Okay, Ooh, time to take the second batch of cookies out. And I oh, no. definitely burnt these ones. Ugh. Okay, who wants to go for a ride? Come on. Did I go for a ride? Go, go, go. Okay, Bean, go. No, Char no, Charlie. <laughs> Oh, okay, that works too, I guess. Bean, sit down, bud. So you're probably wondering why I'm back in the car again. And I have my two little companions right here. That's Charlie in the back. Charlie, can you put your head up? Okay, mm. A for effort. And little Bean, who's sitting in the passenger seat. You can't see him right now because he's too tiny. Right now, I am on my way to McDonald's because that is one of the TikTok food hacks. Oh my gosh, the audacity. All right, we have a. <coughs> okay, let me try that again. All right, we have arrived at McDonald's. <laughs> Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, could I get one small fry, one four piece chicken nugget? Could I get a ranch and a buffalo sauce, please? Perfect, thanks. Really eating cheap recently. I don't roll my window up because I'm kind of embarrassed to be vlogging. I don't know why I'm vlog shy. No, stop sniffing the receipt. No, so. Thank you too. I think I just ran over a french fry. Pretty much, you need to calm down, Bean. He is so excited about me getting food, but I can't give you any. It's not good for you. It's not even good for me. Their chicken nuggets kind of gross me out, but the french fries and the ice cream here, smack. We've got a four piece chicken nugget right here. I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, they put five in here. I'm so special. I also brought a knife and a fork because I'm just that extra. Hello? Julia? What? Where are the dogs? They're with me! Okay. I literally texted mom that. I texted you! Okay, mom. well you know what? We're we're okay to freak out because there's a bobcat in our neighborhood. See, that's what I get for being a good sister. So, pretty much how we proceed from here. You're gonna pour a whole container of the ranch sauce and the spicy buffalo sauce in, and then you're gonna shake it. Ooh. My, ooh. my stomach is gonna be obliterated. Like, I can just kiss my stomach goodbye. Ooh. Ranch going in. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on and shake this up a little bit to help distribute the sauces. I feel like the annoying salad girl at lunch, but like, it's quite the opposite because I'm literally shaking up french fries and chicken nuggets. So we've marinated all of the goodies. So I have a fry right here. Okay, wait, that's kind of really good. I'm gonna try a nugget. It's good. Dang it, I hate that I like it, but it is good. Dang it, <laughs> why is it so good? 
It's like a whole new sauce. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10, but it is so bad for you that I just like can't. I just have poor bean down here that literally wants this so bad. I'm sorry, dude. This would hurt your belly more than it's gonna hurt mine. And it's gonna hurt mine a lot. So I've actually never, or maybe I've had one Uncrustable in my lifetime. My mom never used to buy them because they were so processed. So I'm actually kind of excited to try this out to live that void in my childhood. Bread's kind of stale to be honest, but we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, so we have our little like workspace right here. So what you do is you take some jelly and some peanut butter and you just pretty much make a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich at first i'm gonna like center it towards the middle though because that's where the hole is going to be cut i love jelly i've been so obsessed with like jam on toast it's so good i think that's good i have no idea to be honest i like rarely eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches okay anyway so now you're gonna cut a little like circle in your peanut butter and jelly sandwich i broke the bread Oh no! Shoot, it's stuck. Oh, never mind. So this is what we have. It's extremely ugly, but I did my best. Now, for the like magical part, as they claim it, we're gonna come over here. You are going to uh, get a pan out. Ah! And a little bit of butter. Pretty much what you're doing is like toasting it. Eh, she's seen better days. The butter is melted in the pan. We're gonna take our sandwich and just Plop it in there, let it toast a little bit, get a little bit toasty, a little bit crunchy. There she is in all of her glory. I honestly don't know when to flip this. I'm just gonna try to flip it right now. Oh, I did that pretty well. Wow. Okay, so I think our sandwich is done. Okay, so here's our Uncrustable. Oh gosh, let's try it. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, okay. I need water though. Much better. I do like the texture that the bread gets when you toast it on the stove. It's a good contrast with the peanut butter and the jelly. And I like the seeds in the jelly. That also gives it some texture. It's nice and warm. It kind of feels like a comforting food. It's good, but it's not like blowing my mind. You know what I mean? Like, and it was a lot of work and I had to dirty a lot of silverware and dishes and pans in order to make this. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10 though. The end product is not really worth the amount of work that you put into it. I mean, it's still good. I'm still gonna sit here and eat all of it. It's mediocre at best. I would just like to thank all of you guys for watching this video up until this point, at least. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really fun time filming it. It was an adventure, to say the least. You know what to do. I don't have to say much more. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys all so much. Stay safe and I'll see you all next week. Bye.